And now for our bicycle. We use three 260s. We have two yellow 260s, each inflated, leaving about a four inch tail in the end. And a black 260, also with about a four inch tail in the end. We're going to start with our black. What we're going to do is make about, get about a 11 or 12 inch piece, enough to make a nice loop. And we're going to take that off. Secure our ends on both pieces because we'll need them both in a moment. And make sure you have some left over on the end of this. Now we're going to make another one the same size. Again, take the excess off and again keep this as well. We'll use this for our seat in a moment. Tie this off. These two will become our wheels. This will be our bicycle seat. We're going to set them aside, come back to them momentarily. We're going to start with our first yellow 260. Twist a small bubble. Make that into an ear twist. Another small bubble. And another ear twist. So we've got two ear twists there. Soften this slightly. Now make about an inch and a half bubble. Then we're going to make a four inch bubble. Another four inch bubble right alongside it. Place those together. A half inch bubble. Make that into an ear twist. Position that on the front. This will be the front forks. We're going to go back. About a four inch bubble there. We're going to go down with about a two to two and a half inch bubble. And then about another two and a half inch bubble to come back up into there. This is the beginning of our frame. Now we're going to take this piece off, keeping that. Tie it off. We'll come back to that in a moment. And then put this in for the time to ensure that it's locked in really well. Now we're going to take our second 260. Make a little half inch bubble and an ear twist on that. Lock that into the, that part of the, of the frame here. Now we're going to go down. Make about a four inch bubble like our front frame. Come back up and lock that in place there. So we've got that. Run this back up along here. I like to reinforce in the upper frame. It also helps push the wheels down. We're going to take this excess off here. And I'm going to go ahead and keep it. We'll set that aside. Again, secure this up in there very well. So we've got that. Now we're going to take our little small black one here. Coming to soften up just a little bit. Coming to this back ear twist. Secure one end into it. And then what's left, I get into a fold twist. And then secure the other end into the back of the bicycle. So we're looking at a bicycle seat. So there's our basic frame. Now I kept these two pieces here. We're end up only going to use the longer one. I kept this short one just in case my other one didn't work out like I wanted. I always kind of had a little bit. And we're going to make two bubbles about five inches long. Take the excess off. Let's trim this up a little bit. Find our midway point here. Now we've got these two ear twists that we first started with on top of the frame. Put that in there, then position one ear twist in the front, like that, the other there, give them a little bit of shaping. There are our handlebars. Now we're going to take our two black for our wheels. Spread your forks apart and poke it through just a little bit. Bring this other end around, take the two ends and tie them together.
and then take your knot once you tie it together and tuck it back in your forks and then sort of round out your reel but you've got that. Now we'll do the same thing with our back wheel. Again, spread our forks out. Push that through just a little bit. Take our two ends, tie them together. Tuck the knot back into the forks. Round out our back wheel. Straighten it all up, and we have a simple little three-balloon bicycle.